restored the Glassite Meeting House over 20 years ago and for the last 20 years it's been looked after by the Architectural Heritage Society. The SHBT moved back into the building in November of 2014. We were keen to work with the local community to find ways that the building could be used. Although our offices were based here, we're in a beautiful room here that can be used by the public. We've also got the meeting house downstairs. So we held a few open days and it became very clear from the open days that the community wanted to see or felt that a, a cinema would work in the Glassite meeting house. It's not the kind of place that you're just gonna wander into. So I think already there's this air of mystery as people walk in, they don't know what to expect. Most people are surprised by the space. Um, they're surprised by how big it is. And I think the history of this place is, is palpable in its own way. I mean, you, you get the sense that a lot has happened in these rooms, which is an incredibly interesting place to watch film. I think there's a really big difference as well between the vibe or the mood in here and then upstairs, which is quite warm and inviting and very bright, you know, a lot of windows. So it's kind of nice to have both spaces to play with. We use the feast room here for our pre-dinner refreshments where people can come up for tea or coffee or a, a drink before they go to the cinema. They can take them down to the cinema with them. We have ice creams at the interval because it's not cinema without ice creams. It's very much about making an event of cinema again. And I think that's perhaps something that's been lost. I think people still think about that when they go to the theater, but perhaps they don't think about that in terms of cinema any, anymore. So I, I think that's one of the wonderful things we're, we're doing here, is that they're not just coming to see a film, um, they're coming to meet other people, um, they're coming to talk about the ideas contained in the film with those people, make new friends. There's no shortage of uh, places where you can watch film in Edinburgh. I think people that want to go out and watch alternative films beyond what's showing at you know, your local multiplex can do it. But I think there isn't really something like that in the Newtown area and the, really the community vibe, um, it's not a cliche for us. It's, it's really incredible that you get all these people who don't know each other and by the end of the night, you know, they're, they're drinking wine and they're talking and they're making plans to come back and see another film. Although it's, it's based in the new town, I can see this as somewhere that potentially could attract people from across the city and even further afield um, to come here for a really, really special night out and, and celebrate what the cinema should be about.